And I'll never forget halfway through her freshman year, she was still training for this next Olympic Games. She came in my office, big tears coming down her face. And she said, Miss Val, I've gotten to the point where I realize I can't do it all. I can't go to school. I can't train elite. And I can't be a part of the team to the level that I want. And I thought for sure she was telling me she was dropping out of UCLA and continuing her elite career. My heart was just sinking. And she said, I've decided to stop training in gymnastics. I've decided to retire so that I can be a part of my team. It just spoke volumes to the depth that Jordan Weber feels things and commits to things. She jumped in. It was her team. Four years ago, around this time, I was getting ready and training for the Olympics. I remember feeling a lot of pressure because my dreams could come true. And looking back, it, it was just a really exciting time for me and making that Olympic team was worth all that hard work. Jordan really was one of the best known U.S. gymnasts. She won a bunch of American Cubs and went on to winning a world championship. And then just making the Olympic team was the ending to her career, but she really is one of the best known U.S. gymnasts. When I was 15 years old, I became the world champion and I was getting a lot of different offers from agents and sponsors that wanted me to be a pro. Going pro is accepting any money or endorsements from companies and that makes you ineligible to compete in NCAA sports and to take scholarships from whatever school that you desire. Always wanted to be a college gymnast. It was the Olympics and college gymnastics are what I always wanted to do. I'll never forget the day Jordan Weber called me. It was about a year and a half out of the Olympics. Just wanted to talk about her options and she said I really don't know what my plan is but I know one thing for certain I want to go to college and be a part of a team and is there a possibility for me to do that if I go pro? And she said, of course. At that point, I decided to go pro. And after the London Olympics, we had so much success and we went on the post-Olympic tour. I was doing a lot of different sponsor obligations and TV appearances. And then once things started to calm down a little bit, I went straight back into the gym. My goal was to keep working hard and try for another Olympics. I moved to California, I came to UCLA, but I wasn't allowed to train with the UCLA gymnastics team because it's against NCAA rules. So I got up at 6 a.m. every day to train uh, by myself. And I was really tired all the time, but um, I did that for a couple of months and then I kind of realized that I didn't really have a goal that I was training for. You know, I did world championships and Olympics and national champion and all of that stuff and I wanted to also be a big part of the UCLA gymnastics team. So I decided to turn that chapter in my life and retire from the sport that I love. But looking back, I, I realized that it was probably the best decision I could have made. If you're not a student athlete, you cannot be an undergraduate assistant coach. You can't come in just be that. You have to be a team manager. And she said, fine. I said, but Joe, if you're gonna be a team manager, you've gotta do team manager duties because I can only have so many team managers. And she said, I'll do whatever. I will do anything for my team, Miss Val. And that's exactly what Jordan Weaver does. My job is to make their life easier when they go to compete. Um, if that means making sure they know what to wear, what time to be places, or they need a pep talk before their routine, I try to be there in any way possible. Um, so that's been my role the past three years, but next year I'll be a senior and I'm really excited because I'll be a volunteer assistant coach, which is going to be a whole new role for me. I'm going to get a little taste of what coaching is like in college, so I'm really excited to have that new experience and learn a lot of new things. There are a few times you know, being here at UCLA that I wish I could compete. Seeing, you know, a lot of my teammates compete, like Samantha Peshik, she was Olympian and she did college gymnastics and watching her ultimately win the all-around in her senior year was pretty amazing. And it's moments like that when I when I think, oh, what if I would have done college gymnastics? How great could I have been at this, at this side of gymnastics? I feel unfortunately that, that gymnastics and the Olympic sports got caught up in the rules that were made for football and basketball and baseball. It's not like basketball or football where you can compete in college athletics and then go on and sign multi-million dollar contracts. You peak at a certain time, and with gymnastics, it's between the ages of 15 and 18. And for me, I was probably 16, 17 when I peaked and when I went to the Olympics. But when you're talking about what other athletes can 
can make being the best in the world at their sport, which Jordan Weber was, to this moment, I don't understand why she had to choose. Her window of opportunity for capitalizing on being a professional athlete, it was about a two year period. A little bit before the Olympics, a year after the Olympics. And it is a rare opportunity because the Olympics is really the only scene where you do get seen by a lot of companies and, and where they do want to endorse you. There's only five people on the Olympic team. Without much of a hope of making the next Olympic cycle. It is something where there's new athletes coming in, there's new faces of, of the sport. So to really get your money's worth is, is a decision that you have to make in a short period of time. It was a crazy decision for a 15-year-old to have to make, whether I wanted to accept money for doing my sport or if I wanted to compete in NCAA. And I just think it's absolutely horrible that these young women have to make a choice, that they can't have it all if they're willing to work for it all. Being an Olympian and being a gymnast that still wants to compete in college, I do think some of the rules should be more specific to sport. Gymnasts are usually retired by the age of 21 or 22, so the amount of money that you can make, it's very small compared to other sports, and the window of opportunity to make that money is very, very short. I absolutely think that gymnastics should be an exception to that rule because of the nature of the sport. So now that it's 2016, after the Olympics, they're gonna do another post-Olympic tour, and they actually asked all of the um, past Olympic gold medalists to come back and be on the tour. So that means that I get to go back in the gym and start doing a little bit of gymnastics again, which is really awesome because I've kind of been itching to do some flipping again because I've been retired for two years now. Um, but getting back in the gym has been a little bit of an interesting experience. Ever since I've been starting to train a little bit, I've been incredibly sore all the time. Yeah, it's not good. Overall, it's been, it's been pretty cool to get back in the gym and kind of see what I can still do and test out some skills, and I'm really excited for the tour. After the Summer Olympics, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Four years ago, Jordan was as industrious and hardworking as she is. I think she came out of the womb that way, but more introverted. You know, before, I think there was a stoic Jordan, and I think in the three years that she's been here, she has really gotten comfortable with who she is. She's destroyed the bubble and is comfortable letting people into her world, her life, and sharing her experiences and her wisdom. I really do commend Jordan for being able to step away from Elite and pursue school and, and to just have fun at UCLA. Definitely is like a vital part of growing up and she really has grown out of her shell and been able to experience a lot of things in college and I think it will lead to a lot of new opportunities for her when she does graduate. I have been so privileged to, to be a part of Jordan's growth these last four years because I really see someone who's taking charge of her life. Four years from now, regardless of whether she's an athlete competing at the Olympic Games in another sport or in the business world or becoming a leadership coach, she will absolutely be one of the best in her field. Through my experience in gymnastics and being a professional athlete and traveling and getting the chance to inspire young gymnasts, I want to do something in leadership or motivational speaking. I would love to pursue psychology even further, possibly in grad school, and be able to kind of take you know, what I've learned from the sport, what I learned in college, and I think it would be awesome to be able to travel around and do speeches for big companies or sports teams. At the same time, I've loved being a part of college gymnastics, and I think it would be awesome to eventually have Miss Val's type of job and be a head coach of a college gymnastics team. That's, that's kind of on the radar too, so. Who knows? 15, 20 years from now, she may be the head coach of UCLA Gymnastics. Would not surprise me in the least.